The America I know and love has a decision to make, and you need to send a very clear message. This gun control situation, I feel like, goes back to a very clear issue that stems back to our very beginnings. There are some traditions that you cannot change, because if you change tradition too much, you lose the essence of what was once the whole. The family has standing reunions, we eat dinner every Thanksgiving, we have Christmas at the same place, we bring down the same gifts. All of a sudden, you no longer eat dinner because it costs too much gas, you no longer come for the holidays because you cannot travel the country, and you no longer bring gifts because you don't always remember the birthday. All of a sudden, you have gone from becoming a family who sees each other regularly multiple times throughout the year to having children who do not recognize what their cousins look like. Now, that being said, Gun ownership and the right to bear arms is protected under the Second Amendment. I want to point something out. It's not the 32nd or the 74th or the 112th Amendment. It's the second. It means we decided we're going to make some motherfucking amendments. We made one and somebody said, hold up, we need to get some motherfucking firearms up in here. That's how important it is to this country. Okay? To the history of this nation. Now, if this nation now wants to turn its back, wants to turn around and decide, I don't want to be that guy anymore. I'm no longer capable of protecting myself. I don't want the I don't want the ability to protect myself. I don't want the ability to defend myself from the government or, or any of that kind of stuff. I just want to give up all my power to, to protect my life and, and to keep myself and my family safe and just let, let it all in the hands of the government. It's all in government hands. If that's how you feel in the country you want to live in, I mean, well, hot damn, what country was you raised in? Because the country I grew up in, watching G.I. Joe's and the Incredible Hulk, he man, the Incredible Universe, motherfucking Bonanza and John Wayne and shit, told me that we was raised in the backbone of some cowboy motherfuckers, that we don't take shit like that, and that America ain't fit to sit down here and tell people that the world see we're a bunch of yellow belly motherfuckers, that the next time a motherfucker comes into a place in my motherfucking country, or my state, trying to shoot up people that ain't done a damn thing to you, I'm gonna blow your motherfucking head up and run up to your corpse and I'm gonna stomp your fucking head in like Gallagher out of Watermelon Smashing Contest. Now, if that's not who you want to be, because that's a little drastic, I understand, that's cool, that's cool. You're just going to lean back. Not worry about that kind of stuff. That's the beauty of being an American. Trusting and knowing that you can not worry about it. Somebody else will. Somebody will help you out. Maybe 911 will get there fast enough to save your ass, or your neighbor got gun, or something, I don't, I don't know. You can call somebody. If I tell you what. You come to my block, you come try to kick in my door, you come to the gas station where I'm at, or the grocery store. You show up at my nephew's school when I'm picking him up, or anywhere I'm at at any point in time, and you try to take the lives of innocent people, you threaten my life, or I feel like you are threatening the freedom and peace of my America as a country, I promise you, I will take action on the spot, and if that action ends and leads to the death and the end of your motherfucking life, well guess what, you should have made smarter motherfucking decisions. Now, you don't agree with that. Well, shit. I hope you're one of the people whose lives I get to save.